Hello everybody, I'm Thorion and today I will show you 5 hidden stage builder tricks in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Number 1 Did you know that it's possible to move through certain walls? If we make a wall using freehand and tilt it towards the right, we can go through it from the right to the left. And if we tilt it towards the left, we can go through it from the left to the right. This trick works with every type of terrain, apart from lava. Projectiles can also fly through walls leaning towards them. And what's more, if you hold down the control stick while jumping, you can move through any freehand drawn line, no matter its shape. But unlike with walls that are leaning towards your fighter, you can't walk, sprint or roll to go through it. You have to jump against it while holding the control stick down. If you ever get stuck, you can jump out whenever you like. Number 2 You can use a bomb block to stick terrains together without connecting them. Just untick the bomb block's respawn box and use it to connect the two or more terrains. This enables us to build rotating tunnels. Just make sure to move the gear to the center of the bomb block. Number 3 Cannons, springs, ladders, bomb blocks, bumpers and explosive blocks can be affected by gravity. In order for gravity to affect them, hazards have to be attached to a piece of terrain. For this, we will be using the smallest piece we can get, a freehand drawn line. After that, simply tick the gravity box and now the hazard will be affected by gravity. And respawn later on, that is, if you ticked its respawn box. If there is terrain beneath the hazard, it'll just... stay there. The falling bomb block is great for timed detonation puzzles. Number 4 Some hazards can be rotated. In order for them to rotate, we're going to use the same technique as in the last trick. After we have unticked the box grabbable edges, we're going to add our gear to the terrain and then move it to the center of the hazard. When it comes to cannons, we must make sure that the terrain is attached at the bottom. Nice work. Otherwise, they might not work as expected. Failure. And finally, number 5. Some hazards can be moved around using the rail. To do so, we will create any type of terrain and attach a hazard to it. After that, we're going to add a rail to it. Once this has been done, we can make hazards move around however we want. Enabling us to create the craziest ladder puzzles and more. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments, I'd really appreciate it, and for now, bye!